Well, I'm at an auction right now. Oh yeah, you got lots of stuff to cover. This is Timberland. They they only have a sale twice a year here, so let's go uh, see everything. There's lots of antique tractors here and good implements and stuff, so we'll go through it. Here's a stage one Super W6 again. Like these are, of course, somebody just did a bad paint jo job and made homemade decals for it. I'd, if I bought something like this, I'd put proper decals on. But it's nice straight tractor. The front is neat. The grill's a bit rough, but the, for the most part, it's a nice straight tractor. Somebody put it on 12 volt. 3535 G is the serial number. New tires, all four corners. That's worth a lot. This one's got the live hydraulics. It's got the proper control valve on it. PTO shield's gone, but for the most part, the fenders are nice and straight. They're a little crinkled at the bottom right, but for the most part, this one has the proper guard for the hoses. Here's your hydraulic valve. This one, somebody's uh, somebody's put a solenoid on it, and you see the clutch pedals moved over so it doesn't bother the hydraulic valve. These are live hydraulics, even stage ones. The tires, the tips aren't even wore off the tires yet. It's, the, the tires have done nothing. So it looks like about a 14 inch pulley, so he must have been turning something fairly fast. But this is a nice Super W6, it really is. So there's a stage one Super W6 for you, another one. Which one's better, this one or the one at Olsen's? And other than the grill being a bit rougher, I think this one's a better tractor of the two, honestly, but I think they're both really good. So there, there you go. Here's a John Deere M. This one's got an old restoration. This one has been restored once before. The front tires are nice. The back tires, well, they're, they're holding there. They'll they'll run for a show tractor. It's good enough. Like these have hubcaps on the front, and I believe they're supposed to. It's a nice straight little tractor. It's got touchomatic hydraulic control. Oh, it's got a it's got a, a drawbar that goes up and down. It's a certain kind of hitch they must have had. I don't know much about these this setup. These are a tiny tractor. They're I think they're even smaller than the Farm Ali. Yeah, a friend of mine has a 320 and this is the pre predecessor of that, but this is a very nice tractor, it really is. Here, I, this, I believe this is an SC case, and that's a real nice one, like it's nice and perfectly straight. Rubber's cracked a bit, there's still lots of tread, but they'll, the tires I think will run a long time. Everything's nice and straight there. Again, 12 volt battery and alternator so that you can wear it. The fenders are perfect. Somebody really looked after this tractor. This tire is not as good and I think it's more rotten, but it and the treads down, but it'll still run a little while, I think. So there you go, nice tractor. Here's another Ford Commander 6000. We've had a few of them this year. It's got an allied loader on it. Front tire looks good. Back tires look alright too. They're cracked a tiny bit, but they'll run a long time. Three point hitch on a drawbar and one remote in the three point hitch. Got 25, shows 25.85.9 hours. Fenders are nice. No, I wouldn't doubt that was, that's correct, actually. These tires, like there again, another, that's an older tire. I wouldn't be surprised if this is even original rubber on it. And there's a nice and straight track. There's nothing wrong with it. So here's a Minneapolis Moline U. This is a diesel tractor. Look at that. 
fenders are gone off the back. I think it's got 18 430s. Oh, they aren't off the back either. It comes with parts. Whole slew of parts with it. One tire, this, this one's deeply cracked. This tire will at some point need attention. Don't know why the, t the chain is around the back wheel. The hose is off the radiator. Wood is cut out here probably for a muffler, but it's not bad for streets. There's a Minneapolis U diesel for you. Grill's good. There you go. Here's an Oliver 80. Fairly, this is, I'll see if it's loose. I don't know if this is our, yeah, the engine's loose. Fan's not turning for some reason, but the engine itself is loose. Hood is a little rough. See, this has got cock shut rate. We got 80 because cock shut 80s and all of our 80s are one and the same. 1424 tires, which is pretty standard. The right fender is good, the platform is rough, and the left fender is rough. They're both 1424, so the tires are about 60 some years old. Manifolds crack like they always do on these, but it's loose, so somebody could get going, I'm sure. Here's a John Deere AR, an unstyled one. It's got brand new steers on the front. The hand start one. It's loose. The back tires, they, that, that one looks like it's got a boot in it. Two boots in it. They're gonna need attention. Fenders are a little rough. This tire's good. Covers off the clutch. What, what is not bad? So it's not a bad little tractor, I'm sure it would start up and run. Or if it doesn't, it won't take much work to get it there. Here's a Caterpillar D7E. A low horse. Direct drive with the 47E series. Look at the undercarriage. The undercarriage is really good. The rails are brand new, I think. But rails look the rails look like they're brand new. This one does have segments. The segments need attention. To me, it's possible the the rails may look good, but maybe they're stretched internally. You can't really unless somebody was dumb and just put new rail, new undercarriage on, and left the old segments. That's not it's not overly smart. It's a nice old cat, actually, a real nice old cat, like the cutting edges have been turned, but they're new, and corner bits are new, but the face of the dozer's a bit rough. It still worked good for somebody for years. This is a bubble nose, so it's a very early one, so this would be like 1961 or 2. I'd say the pads would be about 24 inches, maybe 26 even, they have wide pads on it. I think 26 is about the widest you could put on a 7. <laughs> oh, the manifold needs attention. The hood is rough. Somebody cut the hood off and got so that it flips up. And I think the reason, the reason they do it is so they can turn the fan got a cat reversible fan on it. When I run a cat I always check the radiator. Yeah the radiator's okay. Could use a little more but it's okay. Somebody welded extensions on the fenders probably and put this round back canopy on.
I don't know if I should start this up or not. I moved the battery box over there. I believe the battery box should be on the fender, I think. There's a nice old, the, the hood, the hood's rough, but other than that, it's not a bad old 7 at all. Stupid radio stations here, but... The oil due for a change, she's pretty black. We always change every hundred hours on her cats. This is a four-cylinder engine, the cat D339. It's, what are they, 836 cubes or something like that. They're 839, something like that. They're a big four-cylinder engine. And it comes with a couple rollers. They got sent a couple rollers with it. The rollers, of course, are wore out, but they, yes, for a uh, cowbell, got the drawbar. Let's look at the bomb rollers. Bomb rollers look like they have plenty worn to me, but could be wrong. So there's a nice 7E for you, D7E 47A series. 47A601 is the serial number in the, it's stamped in the frame. Here's a little Ford 1700, very nice and straight. Brand new tire on the front on both sides, both front tires are brand new. This is Japanese built, 2934 hours. I wouldn't be surprised if that was right, actually. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. It's got a three-point hitch and a drawbar on it. Real little tires, like little 1024s or whatever they are. 11.2, I guess, is what they are now, I think. Yeah, that's what they are. It's a little two-cylinder diesel in the little guy. It comes... I don't know if it comes with this stuff, but... It, it, there, but it was, I don't know if these are sold separately or not, but here's a mower. I think this looks like a finishing mower, it's not a gyro mower. And it's got a sickle mower with it. So there's a Ford and accessories for you. Here's another John Deere AR. Somebody actually took the care and built a grill for it. I don't know if that's factory or not. It looks like it's homemade, but well, it could be factory. Somebody did this nice straight tractor. This one's an electric start AR. Front tires there again look new. The back ones are old, but they're tires. They don't think they're that bad. Fourteen nine twenty six. Yeah, these are about comparable W four, two sixty three four hundred. So this is, I'm guessing forty seven ish, forty eight maybe. So there's an an unstyled AR for you again. Here's a Minneapolis Moline Z. Tires look good all the way around. Brand new fronts and the backs look good too. Somebody rewired it and built a nice tape harness for it. It's nice and straight. Whoever had this never heard it. This has got hydraulics on it. This this side the tire is cracked, but it's still it'll still run. It's a nice little tractor actually, so. Here's a Minneapolis Moline Z for you. A real nice complete one. Here's a Cogshut 770. Looks like a real nice one. It's nice and straight. It's a gas one. 16930 tires. I think these are pretty much the same thing as uh, an Oliver 770. And Oliver 77 has got some resemblances to this. 
Yeah, it's made in the USA, so it's definitely the, it's definitely an Oliver built tractor. Tires are this tire's a little bit worse. It holds it holds the tractor up, but it will need attention. This is a very nice street one, nice street 770 cock shut. Somebody built this grill. I don't think that's that's not original, but it looks very good. Like at first they thought it almost thought, thought it was, but they did a good job of that. So there's a nice a nice cock shut 770 for you. Here's an Oliver 88. It's a nice street one. Yeah, it's not. It's perfect. It's not not dinged at all. See these 18 430 tires on them. They're, they're these are old. They're tires. This this tire is old. It will need attention. It's got all the original gauges and stuff. Somebody I think must have put this in a shed. Must have kept the inside a lot because it's nice. Like. And somebody really took pride in this tractor. It's not beat up at all. This tire is a little better than the other one, but it, it it's still old. It's got the belt pulley on and hydraulics and stuff. So there's a nice Oliver 88 for you, yeah, Oliver 88 standard. Here's a Cogshot 570. Nice street tractor. Eighteen four thirty four tires on it. So far, I've been very impressed with the tractors as a whole. For street, shows twenty one sixty eight point two hours. Who knows if that's right? Got hydraulics on it, live PTO, and say remote and live PTO. But the fenders are perfect on this tractor. This tire, well, they both the attention. It's a nice complete tractor. Somebody put an alternator on it. It's a very nice, the cog, nice cog shot 570 diesel. Here's a John Deere 2010. Looks like an Allied blade given the color. Probably out made by Allied. Front tires are cracked a bit. Tractor itself is nice and straight, like the tin's good. It's a gasser. It's got chains on it, but the tires themselves are wore out. Seat should probably be looked at. Five, three, eight, four point two hours. Who knows if that's right? Could be, but I don't think so. This is obviously not the radials on it, unless somebody put used ones on. That's also possible. It's got a homemade three-point hitch on it. It never had a three-point hitch originally. This is homemade. It's got a drawbar on it. Got one set of remotes on it, I think. So there's a John Deere 2010 for you. Here's a 170 L L Ellis Chalmers. Looks like a homemade blade on it. I don't think this is manufactured. Nice new rubber on the front. Muffler needs attention. The gasser looks like a four cylinder. This alternator actually drives the tack on this. Look at that. I've seen that with generators. This is the first time I think alternators. I, I've seen that with an alternator. 18,428 tire. That's a strange size. Nice tires on it. Like this one's good, and the other one's brand new. 3391.23 hours, I believe that actually. Drawbar's egged a bit. Dual remotes on it. Brand new tire on this side. Cozy cab. So there's 
a, ni a very nice Ellis Chalmers 170 for, for somebody. Here's a John Deere 4450. Got new tires on the front, 380, 85, R28s. Got a John Deere loader on it. This brand new tires on the back, 20.8s. This looks like a pretty decent tractor. I mean, it has been painted, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's been repainted. Interior's nice, fairly nice. There's some cracks in it, but John Deere put this stuff on puts plastic here and I think that really saves the interiors from what other people or what other manufacturers do. 82, 60, 80 is what it shows for hours. Still a decent tractor. Because it's green it's gonna bring good money because people like John Deere. Let's face it, John Deere brings more than most other Draw bar on the back, dual remotes. Yeah, another 20.8 R38 or equivalent of. So there's a 4450 with a loader and the grapple on it. This looks like an old 14T John Deere Baylor. I'm pretty sure that this is the four no 24T I thought this is 24T John Deere Baylor. So there you go. Here's an IH 770 plow. Five bottom. This plow looks nice. It's got the deep sh suck shears on it. Needs some shin work. But other than that, I think this, this plow's in good shape. The guide wheel's missing off it. They have a guide wheel on them, and, they're, and that one's missing. But the quilters are there and stuff. And that's buildable. That's a nice plow. It's got automatic resets that 770s usually do. You buy 770s that don't, I don't think either, but, or I think too, but... And they, you see, they greased everything. There's lots of grease sniffles on these things. But this is a nice plow. Five so bomb plow. Like I, this is NATO six of Polis, and they're ground pretty good, I think. So there you go. This looks like John Deere type. Yeah, John Deere. It's a trailing type plow. I don't know what model it is, but it looks John Deere to me. This one's only 14 inch, a 770, 16. This one's narrower. In fact, I'm not sure if this is even 14. This might even be 12, 512s. It's not, it's not 16s, that's for sure. But it is what it is. It comes with a cylinder like the 770. It doesn't have a cylinder on it. So there you go. There's a. A five bottom John Deere plow for it. Here's a John Deere disc, a wing type disc. Rubber needs attention. Those look like race car slicks instead of implement tires, or that one does the inner ones better. Probably pulled on the highway a lot. Be what about, I'm guessing it'd be about 24 feet maybe. Here's a Morris. CP625 chisel plow, where we call them deep tillage cultivators here in Canada. It's got sweeps on instead of, instead of spikes. It's got typical Morris three bar heroes, which isn't quite enough. Depends on what, which land you farm, I guess. But yeah, the, C, the 625 is different from the from the 725. It's a nice outfit, it really is. This this calvator is a good one. Come, look at look at there, it comes, it's got spikes with it. It's got shovels with it. That's pretty impressive that that stuff all comes with it. 
Here's a versatile 4400 Swather. This one's a narrow one. This looks about 15 footish. I think it'd be 18 or 20. These, are, these have a 200 cubic inch Ford engine, I think, the six cylinder. These are good Swather too. There's nothing wrong with versatile, nothing at all. Those Ford engines, of course, are really good. And it, it's got a Mac Dunn pickup on it. Pickup reel. So there you go. Here's a white fur. Here's a white plow. This is a beast of a plow. It's only six bottoms, but boy, is it a heavy sucker. Four forty nine. That's the model of it. That's quite a plow, this one. So you look at the size of the wheel that that uh, truck tire on. So there's a white plow for you. It's a nice country out here. Too bad about two and a half miles from here that it gets burnt completely black. One of the wildfires that actually the one that caused Drayton Valley to evacuate is not that it didn't come that far from here. Here's a wood processor. I don't know what kind of engine this is, but it's got a buzz saw and then on the other end it's got a splitter. It will be a work running it, but required two, three guys probably, but it's a wood processor nonetheless. Here's a Lincoln welder on a trailer. It's run by, this is actually, this looks international and it's off a 62 combine. But it's not, it's a continental engine. And I think these, these proceed the C60. Here's the crank to start it with. So it's a hand start welder. It's got the H4 mag on the angle and you get that, you get these sometimes, you find them on tractors and they do work, but that's what they cave off of these little continental engines on the 62 combines. So there you go. There's a Lincoln welder for you. I didn't bother doing the haying equipment this time. Here's a hub for, uh, they say 966, this is for, this is just the light hub the far, the, for the knit small tires, but they, this is here before and I don't think they sold it. I could be wrong, but I don't think, I think that's the case. Here's a new Holland three-point hip sickle bore and looks, it looks like it comes with a brand new sickle. Oh, it's nice out and they, and they, and they, they sent a brand new one with. It's this thing's a belt for the for the for the box but for the wobble box but that's not a bad outfit. This plow, I haven't seen anything like it. It's yellow, don't know if it's Minneapolis. Yeah it is the Minneapolis Moline three bottom plow. It's only got two quilters though. Yeah, it's three point hitch. So they haven't seen a plow like this, they can't be that many around. Here's an old John Deere seed drill, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. It's a John Deere. Or Oliver. Here's a rack, a, a, a wagon with a rack on it. It's horse drawn, it's got a horse hitch on it. You can put, convert that to a draw bar fairly easy. Needs new new deck on it. Bees nest. I don't know where that came from. That's a piece of a bees nest. There you go. I don't know what the heck this is. It's just two wheels on. Here's the front end of a wagon. Part of a grater. An old grater missing the dolly. Here's a sickle mower. Giant 8 it says got horse drawn sickle mower. Here's a John Deere D wheel and this looks like a 1530 wheel. 
I like to actually swallow it. That's more of an ER size pet wheel. Here's a two bottom plow with some description. It's painted orange. I don't know what the heck it is, but it's not. Here's another two bottom plow, a horse drawn one. This is not a John Deere plow. Like a John Deere plow, you can tell them by the way they're constructed. So there you go. And here's a horse drawn flea. Here's a pail of the parts for the engines. These are all one and a half to two and a half. The LBs, I think, are LEs. This one's complete. We're fairly complete. Enough to make one good one, but it's stuck. I think they're all stuck. But there's some engines for you. Well, this is a nice bunch of tractors here. The old tractors. I didn't go through anything newer. There's a John Deere 9600 combine here, which they don't get combines in much because this is cowboy country through here. And that's the number one crop here is cattle. Beef cattle. But it's nice. I, I like this Super W6 a lot, but... I got a good Super W6 right now. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't get everything I wanted to. CFCW is here. They're the radio station. They're playing music and YouTube doesn't like uh, background music all that much. So, and people did it, to, creators did it to themselves. Totally. Creators went in the, uh, Flaunted the rules. They pretended they put. They obviously put put added copyrighted music in. Pretended it was background music, so they did it to themselves. But I, CFCW has just as much right to be here as I do. The wind, the wind, is, and the highway noise has kept the tractors and implements pretty well out of the sound, so they should be all right. Well, God bless. See you in the next video.